Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Join me as we read Matthew 13, verses 47 through 50. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good fish in the containers, but threw away the bad fish. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the f- blazing furnace. And in that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. One question comes to mind when I read this apocalyptic scripture. One question, and that is, do you have the assurance of faith? Do you trust that you're a good catch in the kingdom of heaven? You see, Jesus tells us that without a doubt, there are two paths in this life. One leads to heaven and one leads to hell. But to be saved means we believe in Jesus Christ, that he died for our sins, and we have professed that he is king over all of your life. And I love all these, these end times verses seem to connect to one another, paint a picture of those who will be accepted and those who will not be accepted in heaven. And, and to me, it does just bring up this question of assurance of faith. Do you know that you are saved? Let me ask you a couple questions, even if you know that previous statement. Let me ask you a couple questions so we can really dig down into this. Number one, do you understand that every single human from the beginning of time to the end of the age has sinned or will sin? Do you understand that sin is not just what separates us from God? It's not just a bad act that we do, but it's an act of war and aggression towards God. For those who sin deserve death, destruction, and eternal punishment. Do you know that every human deserves to be thrown into that blazing furnace at the end of times? Do you know that God, while we were still his enemies, while we were still sinners, he lived that perfect, blameless life here on earth, and he died as a sacrifice to permanently remove our sins from us. All this so we can be saved from hell and saved for a relationship with God. And then do you know that with the Holy Spirit, Jesus then was raised back to life on the third day and made a way for us to have eternal life with God. If you know these things to be true in your heart, then the best part is all we need to do is accept this this freedom from sin and this invitation to eternal life. All we need to do is accept Jesus as king of our lives, every part of our lives, not just Sundays and not just some days, but every single day of our life. Romans 10, 9 through 10 tells us that if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. So again, if you know these things already, and you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, and you've made that public profession of faith, then guess what? You are saved. The scripture does not lie. So have confidence in God's word, and live every part of your life as if Jesus is king of it. So when Jesus does come back with his angels to separate the good fish, the righteous fish, from the bad and evil fish, you know where you're going. And this is what I want to encourage you with today. Live your life in confidence of where you're going. And with that, you'll find every good works that he's laid out for you in the meantime. But don't stress, don't worry. Instead, live in confidence. That's the only way he calls us to live. With that, love you a lot, Calvary. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.